Good afternoon, Thetford Academy, and welcome to another rousing rendition of Catch the Mania Trivia. Why Catch the Mania Trivia, you may ask? Well, I used to host a pub trivia night at Salt Hill, and it was called Catch the Mania Trivia, and I've simply recycled the PowerPoint. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Am I right? Anyhow, this is a previously recorded trivia fun time. As we speak, as I speak, I'm currently recording Lebanon High School's graduation ceremony. But if I had one wish, it'd be to spend more time with you. Actually, that's not true. If I had one wish, it would probably be to end poverty or something. If that hurts your feelings, you probably don't have your feelings hurt enough. Anyhow, this video appears as if it's live, though, with a chat bar over here, which you'll get updates about scores from Kate, or you can just say la di da -di doo in there, and that's kind of fun. And you can't fast forward into the video to take a peek at the answers. On a similar note, please don't use Google to look up the answers. Or Bing, or DuckDuckGo, or if you're from 1995, Alta Vista, please don't look up the answers. It kind of ruins it for yourself. It makes it not fun. And you should be trying to have fun with this. Otherwise, you could just be studying with flashcards or something like that. Anyhow, the rules are fairly simple. There are four rounds and ten questions per round. But the one curveball is that once throughout this whole mess, you can multiply the score of a round by two. If you feel like you've done really well on a particular round, on the last question, when you're sending the form to Kate, put in all caps DOUBLE, and that'll tell Kate that you're doubling the score for that round, but you can only use it once, so use it wisely. So, without further ado, let's jump into Catch the Mania Trivia. We'll be giving one minute per question, and here's question number one. A preposition is A, a part of speech, B, a legal tactic, C, a yoga posture, or D, a type of dancing. Question number one. Question number two. Use the correct form of its in this sentence. Thetford Academy has weathered many events in its long history. Question number two. Question number three. On what significant day in most people's lives did S.E. Hinton receive the publishing contract for The Outsiders? Question number three. Question number four. In the graveyard book, the main character's name is Bod. What is his name short for? Question number four.
Question number five. Name one of the six simple machines in mechanical engineering. Question number five. Question number six. Son of a goldsmith, what German printer invented the movable type printing press around 1450 and printed the 42 line Bible, better known by his last name? Question number six. Question number seven. What is the name of the river that runs through Paris? Question number seven. Question number eight. What is the fastest sport on ice? Question number eight. Question number nine. Are red pine trees found on TA and state land planted or natural growing? Question number nine.
And question number 10, what is the general name for a four-sided figure? Question number 10, when you're done, please send your questions in to Kate. We'll take a brief moment while answers are being submitted. It's time for round number two. Question number one, at what temperature Fahrenheit does water boil when it's sea level? Question number one. Question number two. About how many acres of land are there when you count TA and state land together? Question number two. Question number three, give the slope of a vertical line. Question number three. Question number four. In SketchUp, the 3D design software created by Google, what tool allows you to draw guidelines and guide points? Question number four.
Question number five. Electricity is the flow of what subatomic particle with a negative charge? Question number five. Question number six. In the curious incident of the dog in the night time, what is notable about the narrator? Question number six. Question number seven, a Mr. Mellinger favorite, what song starts D, C, A, G, A? Question number seven. Question number eight. Name two invasive species found in Vermont that begin with B. Question number eight. Question number nine. Who is the president of France?
And question number 10, what are the three Abrahamic religions? Question number 10, when you're done, please send in your questions to Kate. Remember to keep an eye on the chat to see updates about scores from Kate. Here are the answers for round number one. Question number one, a preposition is a part of speech, A. Question number two, it's without an apostrophe, is the correct form. Question number three, S.E. Hinton received that publishing contract on graduation day. Question number four, Bod was short for nobody in the graveyard book. Question number five, the six simple machines are a wedge, an inclined plane, a pulley, a wheel and axle, a lever, or a screw. Question number six, Gutenberg was the German who invented the movable type printing press. Question number seven, La Seine runs through Paris. Question number eight, luge is the fastest sport on ice. That is if you're biased and you don't want to count rocket hockey, but let's not get lost in the weeds. Question number nine, the red pines on TA property are planted. And question number 10, all four-sided figures are quadrilaterals. Jumping into round number three, question number, well, it says clip number one because this is usually a music round, but we'll just pretend that it says question number one. What does Holden Caulfield overhear that prompts him to daydream about a field of rye? Question number one. Question number two. The study or use of repeatable letter forms in graphic design is called what? Question number two. Question number three. If two objects are moved to a distance twice that of their original distance apart, how strong is the gravitational force between them as compared to the original distance? A. The same. B. Twice as much. C. Half as much. Or D. One quarter as much. Question number three.
Question number four. What is the money call that you pay to an insurance company to get insurance? Question number four. Question number five. Name three countries bordering France. Question number five. Question number six. In what quadrant is the point negative five, negative seven located? Question number six. Question number seven. What religion is the god Shiva from? Question number seven. Question number eight. In graphic design software, what is the Bezier tool used for? Question number eight.
Question number nine. Who says, but soft, what light through yonder window breath? Bleh. Question number nine. Who says, but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? I'm gonna burp. Question number nine. And question number 10, in writing, what concept is defined as a controversial evidence-based declaration? Question number 10, when you're done, please send your questions in to Kate. Remember that once a game, you can multiply the score of a round by two. If you feel like you're doing really good on a round, write DOUBLE in all caps in the last field on your answer sheet. But you can only use it once, so use it wisely. Here are the answers for round number two. Question number one was 212 degrees Fahrenheit for the temperature that water boils at at sea level. Question number two, TA has about 500 acres for you to explore. Question number three, there is no slope of a vertical line. It's undefined. Question number four, in SketchUp, the measuring tape is used to draw guidelines and guide points. Question number four. Question number five, electricity is the flow of electrons. What did one electron say to the other electron that was eating with its mouth open? You're repulsive. Question number six. In the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime, it's notable that the narrator is on the autism spectrum. Although I think it's also notable that he likes dogs and that he has a rat, and that he has a hard time distinguishing frivolous things from notable things. But I won't argue with the answer. Question number seven. <whistles> Moonlight in Vermont. Question number eight. This is... <laughs> Balsam, it's really hard to read this because there's <laughs> the font is really small. Buckthorn, brittle naiad, balsam woolly adelgid, beech bark disease, butternut, canker, barberry, common and Japanese, Asiatic bittersweet, black locust, border privet, burning bush, or butter burr sweet coltfoot. Well, they're all answers for question number eight. Question number nine Emmanuel Macron is the president of France. And question number 10, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism are the three Abrahamic religions. And finally, round number four. Question number one, what cult was David Koresh the leader of? Question number one.
Question number two, Bjark Ingels is a famous Danish pioneer in what field of art and design, combining form, function, and sustainability? Question number two. Question number three, name three of the four official languages spoken in Switzerland. Question number three. Question number four, give the date for D-Day. Question number four. Question number five, define hubris. Question number five. Question number six, name the fictional academy that Owen Meany attends in a prayer for Owen Meany. Question number six.
Question number seven. In what decade were the majority of Vermont's stone walls built? Question number seven. Question number eight. What English scientist is credited with discovering electromagnetic induction and building the first electric generator in 1831? Question number eight. Question number nine. What early pixelated font is a sans serif typeface designed by Susan Kerr for Apple Computer for the dot matrix printer and was used in the Macintosh operating system user interface between 1984 and 1997 and was an important part of Apple's brand? Question number nine. And question number 10. How many electrons in the valence shell of a neutral carbon atom? Question number 10. We'll wait a minute for Kate to get in the answers, but in the meantime, how are you doing? That's great. Hey, good to hear. Keep it up. Wow. You don't say. Really? <laughs> yeah. Here are the answers for round number three. Question number one, Holden Caulfield overheard a popular song and led him to daydream about a field of rye on the edge of a cliff. Question number two, typography is the study or use of repeatable letter forms in graphic design. Question number three, the answer for question number three was a quarter as much for the two objects that were moved twice the distance of their original distance apart. Question number four was a premium 
for what you pay to an insurance company to get insurance. Question number five, the countries that border France are Andorra, Belgium, Germany, Italy, Luxembourg, Monaco, Spain, and Switzerland. And if you want to count French Guiana, there's Brazil and Suriname as bordering countries. And by the same logic, the Netherlands are a bordering country via the island of St. Marie. And those are only land borders. If you want to count territorial waters, then you'll have to ask somebody else. Question number six, the point negative five, negative seven is in the third quadrant. Question number seven, Shiva is a god from the Hindu religion. Question number eight, the Bezier tool is used for drawing curves. Question number nine, Romeo during the balcony scene said, but soft what light through yonder window breaks. And question number 10 was a thesis statement for the controversial evidence-based declaration. All right, here are the answers for round number four. Question number one was the Branch Davidians for the cult led by David Koresh. Question number two was architecture for Bjark Ingels, the famous Danish pioneer. Question number three, the four languages officially spoken in Switzerland are French, German, Italian, and Romanche. Romanche? Romanche. Romanche. Yeah, Romanche. Question number four, D-Day was on June 6th, 1944. Question number five, hubris is defined as overweening pride or ambition. Question number six, Owen Meany went to Gravesend Academy in a prayer for Owen Meany. Question number seven, most of Vermont's stone walls were built in the 1830s. Question number eight, Michael Faraday was the English scientist credited with discovering electromagnetic induction. Question number nine, Chicago was the Apple computer font. And question number 10, there are four electrons in the valence shell of a neutral carbon atom. Question number 10, and that concludes Catch the Mania Trivia. The scores should be updating somewhere over here to my left. Thank you, Kate, for doing that. I hope you all had a moderately okay time. I hope your exams go well, and may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back, and don't drive like my brother. Thank you for your time. <laughs>